वेलकम टू क्विक सॉल्यूशंस ऑल इंडिया अकास्ट टेस्ट सीरीज जेई मेन 2020 टेस्ट थ्री व्हिच वाज हेल्ड ऑन 22 दिसंबर 2019 नाउ जस्ट स्टार्ट क्वेश्चन नंबर 51 लिमिट एक्सटेंडिंग टू 1 100x टू द पावर 101 minus 101x टू द पावर 100 plus 1 डिवाइड बाय e टू द पावर x minus e sin pi x is equal to limit extending to 1 so just substitute x as 1 in numerator as well as in denominator so in numerator you are getting 100 minus 101 plus 1 divide by 0 so this is 0 by 0 form so limit x tending to 1 100 x to the power 100 left with x minus 1 minus x to the power 100 plus 1 divide by e to the power x minus e sin pi x now calculate RHL so RHL is limit h tending to 0 replace x as 1 plus h so 100 1 plus h to the power 100 x as 1 plus h minus 1 minus 1 plus h to the power 100 plus 1 divide by e to the power 1 into e to the power h minus e and here sine pi 1 plus h so sine pi plus pi h which is minus sine pi h so which is equal to limit h tending to 0 this is going to be cancelled so 100 1 plus h to the power 100 h minus 1 plus h 100 plus 1 divided by you can take minus e common e to the power h minus 1 sin pi h e to the power h minus 1 if i divide by h and multiply with h it is standard form limit and here similarly h tending to 0 so pi h also tending to 0 so divide by pi h and multiply with pi h also so this is also going to be 1 so now minus 1 upon pi e limit h tending to 0 h time 100 1 plus 100 h plus 100 c2 h square and so on minus just take common minus so 1 plus 100 h plus 100 c2 h square and so on minus 1 divide by in denominator you are left with h square so see 1 is going to be cancelled here and and this is 100h and here minus 100h so this is also going to be cancelled and the next term is 100 into 100 into h square in here this is minus 100 c2 h square so h square you can take common it is going to be cancelled by denominator and you are left with minus 1 upon pi e multiply with 100 into 100 minus 100 c2 just calculate it this is minus 1 upon pi e into 100 100 minus 99 divided by 2 which is equal to minus 5050 divided by pi e so option number 2 is your correct answer question number 52 limit extending to infinite root over x bracket root x plus c minus root x is equal to 2 then value of c equals so limit x tending to infinite root x just multiply with its conjugate so root x plus c minus root x divide by root x plus c plus root x multiply root x plus c plus root x is equal to 2 limit x tending to infinite root x in numerator this is x plus c minus x in denominator it is root over x plus c plus root x which is equal to 2 x is going to be cancelled here now you can take root x as common in denominator so limit x tending to infinite root x into c divide by root x bracket root over 1 plus c upon x plus 1 is equal to 2 so x is going to be cancelled here now just substitute x as infinite so you are getting c divided by 
c by x is 0, root over 1 is 1, so 1 plus 1 is 2, c by 2 is equal to 2, so from here c is equal to 4, so option number 4 is your correct answer. Question number 53, the number of points where f of x is equal to max 10 of mod x and modulus of cos x is non-differentiable in the interval minus pi to pi. So just draw the diagram of 10 of mod x and mod of cos x. This is pi by 2 and this is pi and this is minus pi by 2 and this is minus pi 10 mod x. So just draw the diagram for x positive so which is for 10x when x is positive and question is asking 10 of mod x so for negative part graph is is going to be mirror image of y axis this is the graph of 10 of mod x draw the graph of mod of cos x for minus pi to pi so for this is like this so question is saying maximum of these two graphs so maximum of these two graphs is and here this one so you can see very clearly at one point two point three point and four point at four points the given function is not differentiable so option number four is your correct answer question number 54 the relation between a and b for which h of x is equal to limit n tending to infinite f of x plus x to the power 2 n gx divided by 1 plus x to the power 2 n is continuous at x equal to 1 where f of x is equal to x square plus ax plus 3 and g of x is equal to x plus b is so question is saying the function h of x is continuous at x equal to 1 so h of 1 plus is equal to limit s tending to 0 limit n tending to infinite f of x so f of 1 plus h plus 1 plus h to the power 2n g of 1 plus h divide by 1 plus 1 plus h to the power 2n here n tending to infinite limit h tending to 0 limit n tending to infinite just divide your whole function by 1 plus h to the power 2n in numerator as well as in denominator so f of 1 plus h 1 plus h to the power 2n plus g of 1 plus h divide by 1 upon 1 plus h to the power 2n plus 1 when h tending to 0 then 1 plus h is tending to 1 plus and its power n tending to infinite then 1 plus h to the power 2n is tending to infinite so it is going to be 0 and it is going to be also 0 so here limit h tending to 0 g of 1 plus h divided by 1 that is equal to g of 1 which is equal to 1 plus b g of 1 is equal to 1 plus b now h of 1 minus so here limit h tending to 0 limit n tending to infinite f of 1 minus h plus 1 minus h to the power 2n g of 1 minus h divide by 1 plus 1 minus h to the power 2n is equal to limit h tending to 0 when h tending to 0 then 1 minus h is tending to 0 and its power 2n which is n tending to infinite so this value is going to be 0 similarly this value is going to be 0 so f of 1 minus h divide by 1 so here this is equal to f of 1 which is equal to 1 plus a plus 3 so according to question h of x is continuous so 1 plus a plus 3 is equal to 1 plus b so from here you can see it is a plus 3 is equal to b now according to your options a minus b is equal to 3 which is incorrect 
B minus A is equal to 3. So, option number 2 is your correct answer. Question number 55. Limit extending to 0 f of x divided by x is equal to 2. Then the function satisfying f of x plus f of y is equal to f of x plus y divided by 1 minus xy where xy belongs to real number and xy cannot be equal to minus 1 is. So, see limit extending to 0 f of x upon x is equal to 2 and here you can see this is f of x plus f of y is equal to f of x plus y divided by 1 minus x y. So, by observing your options, it is a formula like 10 x plus y which is equal to 10 x plus 10 y divided by 1 minus 10 x into 10 y. So, f of x is equal to something 10 inverse x. Okay. But, it is given limit extending to 0 f of x upon x is equal to 2. So, from here you can say limit extending to 0 k times tan inverse x divided by x is equal to 2. So, k is equal to 2. So, your required f of x is equal to 2 times tan inverse of x. So, option number 4 is your correct answer.